Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Far Cry 3. We're doing the main quest, and right now we have got... Uh-huh. Well, I kind of figured it might have been part of the quest, just like this compound was part of the quest. What? Wait a minute. Can't I get okay, in? Okay, let's do this. Oh, uh, I can't get back in there? What the heck? Sorry, no can do. Boyd needs his beauty sleep. Hey! Hey, Boyd's hiring pretty boys now. Hey! Look at that asshole. Well, how am I supposed to get... Well, you know what? I bet I know... I bet this is similar to the, uh... Rakyat Temple. I couldn't get to some of them in the temple until I was allowed in the temple. Fresh. Well, how am I on ammo? Let's see. We'll, we'll try to see how many of these we can get to. All right. Okay. We can get to that one. And that is outside that. Can't get some of these chests because they're inside a sealed compound. Can I get through here? I think I was mentioning earlier before you came out. I think this is like the uh, the Rakyak Temple when we first started the game. There's just certain things in here that I'm not going to be able to get until we progress in the storyline. You're with Sam? Motherfucker's hardcore. Huh. You hardcore fish? You gotta be to keep up with Sam the motherfucking man. Am I hardcore? I don't know. I'm pretty hard. Huh. Don't know about hardcore. You're starting to get interesting. Don't get scuttlebutt says the boss is dead. The last contact we had, some kid named Jason Brody popped up. I'm impressed. Don't you fucking eyeball me, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are so tough. Hey, look. It's a Commodore Amiga. New recruit thinks he's special because Hoyt talked to him. Hoyt talks to a lot of guys, new recruit. He talked to Boss. Now where's Boss, huh? But it's upstairs. How do we get upstairs? Am I going to have to go in that way? Uh, I'm a softie. Aww. No, I'm not. Let's go up here. Alright. Oh, I found a way of spending some of my money. Uh, even though I only use like four weapons one of them being a compound bow and bow and arrow and that's a good combination for just about any situation the so all the other weapons I I don't even now. use but I went in and noticed that I could um, upgrade them add augmentations like sniper uh, scopes red dots uh, larger magazines stuff like that and I was spending three and four hundred dollars a pop on those suckers so I was able to spend a lot of money the problem I ran into was now I have everything I still had to end up wasting ammo just to get rid of some of my money I feel a sneeze coming on. You ever get those where the back of your nose just starts on. tickling no and you start wiggling it like a rabbit? <laughs> okay. How do we get up there? We're going to have to go around though. Yeah, we got to go around. Oh, there's one behind this building. New recruit thinks he's special because Hoyt talked to him. Hoyt talks to a lot of guys, new recruit. He talked to Boss. Now where's Boss, huh? Hey, Hoyt's hiring pretty boys now. Better pucker that asshole. 
They are so funny. The pirates lost their psychotic leader. They'll be even more unpredictable now. Mm hmm. I'm just looking at the architecture. It looks like if they've sandbags on the roof, there must be a way of getting onto the roof. Right? Logical? Don't you fucking eyeball me, boy. Woo! Money spending spree, I know, right? It was Black Friday, too. It was 20% off. <laughs> I absolutely hate Black Friday. I hate the concept. It is such a marketing ploy. 99% of all the crap they sell is just that. It is crap. It is spur of the moment impulse buying trash. Uh, I had a part time job at Walmart, and wouldn't you know, I just happened to be employed over Black Friday. And the people would rush in like idiots. You know, that mob mentality. Mob mentality. Oh, you're saving money on Black Friday. You're saving money on. No. If you buy one thing, you have spent money, not saved it. Yeah, I'm taking cash now, mainly because of the tricks this thing is doing. All right, I'm good. Ooh, I was able to pick that up. Who's crying? So anyway, long story short, I do not do Black Friday. I don't believe in Black Friday. It's just a marketing ploy to take your money. In fact, even the manager of the Walmart that I worked at admitted that, that in one day, no one's gonna stop he can make as much money as the rest of the year on Black Friday. That's, that's all it is. It's just marketing. Ooh, look at that. Scorpion. Because it's down. Yeah, I usually pinch the bridge of my nose and it goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the uh, membranes of the nose from being irritated. I think I know that tune. Hey, just don't get cocky. Well then, you'll be happy to know all we bought was two packs of Cheetos. All right. Good for you. And those probably went to good use, didn't they? All right, did you see that? This was. We should be able to get out this gate. Plus, we don't have that big of a sale in Sweden. It's like 10%. Yeah. He pretty much talks about how a lot of our customs and traditions are not customs and traditions but they're a marketing plan uh, one of the biggest ones that I thought was funny was I don't know if the tradition holds true all over the world or in your country but when you decide to get married it is usually traditional to get the woman an engagement ring a diamond engagement ring all right that's been holding true for a hundred years you know but why why do we have to get the woman a diamond ring and propose well evidently in the show Adam ruins everything he did the research and found out that the Zales Diamond Corporation used it as a marketing tactic, tactic to sell more diamonds. They're like, hey, we need to sell more diamonds. Oh, let's make it a tradition to get a fiance a diamond. Before that, is this sink? Oh, man, I was going to use the car. It doesn't even have tires on it. So, um, yeah, it was a very successful marketing technique, and now it is embedded in custom so deep 
and entrained in everyone's mind so heavily that oh we have to have a diamond ring if you're going to get married we're going to have to have a diamond ring if we're going to get married no you know how they did it before the marketing campaign it's like hey want to get hitched that's it and they go see the preacher <laughs> Oh, I, I try to keep as much money in my account as possible because of emergencies. Oh, good grief. Um, can I run up this? <laughs> like a boss. Oh, yeah. In fact, uh, after I paid my bills, I usually have a couple hundred dollars in my account. I can never figure out which door to go out. Beep beep. Get to the communication center. Now, here's a funny story. You weren't here yesterday when I was fighting this compound. I was just going in just to collect the, the loot containers. And there's bad guys in there. They're going to come running out and chasing me, though. You know, usually they'll just run around in circles and stay put. Not these guys. Not these guys. I hate diamonds. They're pretty to look at. But it makes me nervous having stuff worth more than anything else I own around my finger. All day because I'm a klutz. I agree. I absolutely agree. With the money spent to buy a All right. diamond. I'm going to plug Hoyt's phones. With the money spent to buy a diamond, you could buy Hello, a Sam. car. In order to host the communication between the privateers, you must blow the satellite dish. Pass through the bunkers underneath. Who do I have to blow? D4 placed on the struts will be the only way. Then you need a lift out. The fuel depot can wait. I will come pick you up. We'll save some C4 for that big metal door blocking the bunker entrance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This must be a restricted area. I'm not supposed to be here, so I don't think this uniform is going to help. No, that uniform is not going to help. All right. Let's take another look here. I could sneak around because I found a lot of cool little these little uh, ditches that I could hide in and run through and sneak up on people. That was kind of fun. But, good grief. I'm going to try and tag as many of these guys as I can. Oh, there's an alarm. <gasps> Ooh, I need to take out the alarm. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Can we crouch? See, if I crouch, I can't see. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Stupid leopard. No. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. No, no suppressor. But that's okay. A lot of times, uh, I'm far enough away that they can't even hear me. Hello? Alright. I don't know if this will work. Alright, at least I got the cat tagged. Alright, now can I see through? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. There it is. Hey! No, that's the wrong one. There it is. Oh, I can almost see it right there. You can bank on it. All right, let me take out this guy in the tower. Ah, I don't like doing drugs. Okay, stay away, kitty. Stay away, kitty. Stay away, kitty. Okay. Well, I think I've already got everybody tagged. Uh, I usually just 
talk with everybody. So, it's not like I'm just trying to win for the sake of winning. I just like take my time. Ooh, he's nervous. Is he going to come all the way up here? No, nope. they're running. They're scrambling. They're scrambling. Here they come. That's all right. A lot of times I go ahead and let them come to me. And I, I got a present for them. Oh, a grenade, huh? Okay. Keep him away from the bunker. I'm in the bushes. Oh, he saw me. He's running. He's running like a little girl. Oh, look at that. Okay. Well, that's one way of doing it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bad guys. See this right here? That helps. You son of a bitch. Turn your back on me. How dare you? That's rude. So I am uh, in my 50s. Alright. I think we can... Well, the kitty cat was no help whatsoever. Yeah, Nico likes it when I try to... Uh, rush in and kill him up close and personal and then I die and then she's like haha I knew you were going to die I was like you no love no love switch to my shotgun okay this should play a little different Yeah, the uh, first time I came in here when I was just exploring the island, I took that truck and I butted it up against the door and I tried to climb up steel. on top. Explosives will do the trick. No, they won't. Oh, sorry. I didn't know I had those. And you need to back up because uh, I've blown myself up a couple of times. Yay! And now, who's inside? Anybody inside? Hello? Hello? Avon calling. It's a delay between the game and sound. Still? Alright. Well, I've been trying to fix that. What the heck? Stop wasting bullets. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. No, no, no. <laughs> I think he blowed himself up with that one. He won't die. He just won't die. About three seconds. Dang it. Guns are blazing for the win. Oh, right in the leg. I am wearing a flag vest. Ha, we're chucking grenades at each other. Oh, crap. I just blowed myself up. I blowed myself up. <laughs> 